change God loves me Every day the same Clap one, two, three Stomp your feet Come on and shout Airport? I'm pretending these planes are taking off and landing and going to a bunch of different places around the world. Have you ever seen an airplane fly high in the sky? Me too! I like to imagine where they're going. Let's pretend this plane is delivering packages to Nebraska. How about this one? Let's pretend this one is taking a grandma to visit her grandkids. This airplane has a banner, so it can fly with a special message in the air. Hoo! Hoo! It's Ollie! Hello, Danny. Hoo! Hoo! Flying toy airplanes, are you? Hi, Ollie. I'm pretending these airplanes are flying all over the sky. Flying an airplane can be fun. It's true. I know someone who is always with you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Follow me through, follow me through hell. I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hello, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. My mailbag is so full that it won't shut today. That reminds me of something in our Bible story that needs to be closed, too. Let's put our story mail in the mailbox. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a man named Daniel. Daniel loved God. Daniel prayed and talked to God three times a day. Can you count to three with me? One, two, three. When Daniel prayed, he went to his room to talk to God. Well, we can pray and talk to God anywhere. 
Can you talk to God in your home? Can you talk to God on the playground? <laughs> Those are great places. We can talk to God anywhere. Daniel had an important job working for the king. Because Daniel did such a great job, the king wanted to put Daniel in charge of the whole kingdom. Now, this was a good thing for Daniel, but there were other people who worked for the king who did not want Daniel to be in charge. So they did something very sneaky. They tricked the king into creating a new law that said no one could pray to God anymore. What do you think Daniel did? That's right. Daniel did what he had always done. He went to his room and prayed to God and asked for help. When the people saw Daniel praying to God, they ran and told the king. Even though the king really liked Daniel, he had to do what the law said. That means Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. Well, let's think about it. God was with Daniel at his job. God was with Daniel when he prayed in his room. So guess who was with Daniel in the lion's den? You're right, God. God was with Daniel in the lion's den. The king told Daniel, I hope the God you pray to keeps you safe. Because God was with Daniel, something amazing happened. God sent an angel to close the lion's mouths. Make a lion's mouth with me like this. Now close it. <laughs> Yay. God was with Daniel and God kept Daniel safe. The next day, the king ran to see if Daniel was safe. And he was. The king was so happy that God was with Daniel and kept him safe. God was always with Daniel and God is always with you too. So if God is always with you, is God with you when you're eating dinner? Yes, God is always with you. Is God with you when you go outside? Yes, God is always with you. Is God with you when you go to sleep at night? Yes, God is always with you. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. That's the truth, friends. I'll see you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God is always with me, and God is always with you, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, God was always with Daniel, and I God is always with me, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. Oh. I'm gonna write God is always with me on this airplane banner so everyone can see it when it flies. See you next time, bye! God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9. God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9.